Hi, I'm Francis Aish, Head of Applied Research and Development. And I'm Gamma Basra, Head of Visualisation and Film. We work at Foster & Partners, one of the world's leading architectural, engineering and design studios. We communicate visually using images, films and real-time games engines like Unreal. We've worked on augmented and virtual reality for many years, developing custom tools that allow our designers to create, analyse and experience their ideas in intuitive yet powerful ways. Today, we'd like to tell you about some of our latest AR and VR work. The projects we've worked on are still sensitive, so we're going to use a dummy project to illustrate the key concept. We use a wide range of tools and media to communicate ideas, as different tools give different experiences. Physical models can give great overviews of a design, but we wanted to explore how best to show the street scale human experience. We're long running users of Unreal with a very good relationship with Ken and the Epic team. So we'd already built a very detailed, high quality visual model of the new tower and its context in Unreal and used it for regular VR reviews. We'd also previously conducted VR and AR design reviews using VR backpacks, HoloLenses and iPads. These can be done at one-to-one -one scale indoors and warehouses and got very good reaction from clients. We always like challenges, so together with the design team, we posed ourselves a harder one. Could we walk the stakeholders around the real site at one-to-one -one scale, but give them the VR experience of the new building? To help them understand the spatial experience and how the building would fit in within the city as part of the design and planning process. To begin with, we started laser scanning the site and context to align the virtual and real worlds. The site itself is approximately 100 meters square and can be in a dynamic environment with pedestrians walking around and changing lighting. As well as great visuals, Unreal also provided a development platform we used to create our custom software called Cloudcom. We also worked closely with HP and Microsoft on the hardware side. We then customized the hardware to enable robust multi-user tracking at this scale. Of course, as with so many projects, COVID got in the way and for a while we had to continue working in our bedrooms and back gardens. But because of the multi-platform nature of Unreal, we could quickly create an iPad version of our tool, and stakeholders could use that to continue to participate in the process from their back gardens. Once we were allowed back onto site, we continued testing and refining the system, getting feedback from our stakeholders. Critically, this is a multi-user experience. You can see the other participants and speak to them, and point out features of the new building. It's an incredible multi-sensory experience of walking around the plaza, seeing the very powerful virtual visuals, but feeling the real plaza beneath your feet and hearing the sounds of the city around you. Something we found very useful was switching between virtual and real reality to compare and check the present and potential future. And by incorporating screens on the rear of the backpacks, we made the process inclusive to allow larger numbers of stakeholders to participate. Overall, the user reaction has been incredibly positive. We've also developed remote collaboration functionality to allow remote participants to join and contribute to the process. And one future use could be to increase design participation using tablet AR and other low-cost XR devices to allow a broader range of stakeholders to participate. So we think that this has pushed the boundaries of outdoor one-to-one -one scale VR. This ability to collaborate at any scale and from any location is incredibly powerful. It's giving our clients and designers a way to experience their designs like never before.